Hello viewers, welcome to another episode of Lancentia Hub. In today's episode, we are going to talk about nursing diagnosis as the second phase of the nursing process. Remember in our previous episode, the assessment phase, we made mention of the five processes that takes place in nursing process. And we gave an acronym of what? ATPI. Assessment, Diagnosing, Planning, Implementation, and Evaluation. Today, we are going to look at the second phase of the nursing process, which is nursing diagnosis. And I tell you, it's a very interesting side that you can't afford to miss. Before we delve into the nursing diagnosis, there is a document you call the NANDA, which stands for the North American Nursing Diagnosis Association. This is a document that will be very vital for every nurse in writing nursing diagnosis. Hence, we will reference you back to the NANDA and so you can move accordingly. Before we go into nursing diagnosis, let's look at a brief recap of this. Many of us have attended hospitals where we have been diagnosed with malaria. Prior to the diagnosis, we could attest to the fact that the doctors asked us various questions which we alluded to. For instance, do you feel bitterness in your mouth? Are you having headache? Is your temperature high? Then when the doctor writes this, problems down. At, at that phase, the doctor is doing what? An assessment. He then ordered for a lab investigation to be done. When a lab result is in, based on the organism the doctor has seen in the lab, he then diagnoses you. And so based on all this assessment that has been done, the same medical doctor back in school was told that anytime you have these problems playing out, anytime you see a, a plasmodium parasite in a person's blood, please write a diagnosis as malaria. And so the malaria was not something the doctor forged, but it was rather in their document as their medical diagnosis that anytime you face a problem like this, diagnose the patient as malaria. The same way in our nursing profession, when we encounter patients with problems, there are ways we write that problem in our nursing language, which we call the nursing diagnosis. And so if I encounter a patient with high body temperature, patient with breathing difficulties, patient in pain, patient dehydrated, or any problem, there is a way we write that in the nursing language, which we call the nursing diagnosis, which we are going to look at today. Very, very important. Always remember, when I want to write nursing diagnosis, I should remember this formula in my mind. Nursing diagnosis equals NANDA plus cause. Nursing diagnosis is equal to NANDA plus cause. If you remember this formula, I tell you, you can write nursing diagnosis with ease. Nursing diagnosis equals NANDA plus cause. Now let us look at what is this formula about. For example, we have something called a NANDA. That document tells us how to rewrite our patient problems in our nursing language. For example, patient has high body temperature of 39 degrees Celsius. When you open the NANDA, which we will share on our various WhatsApp platforms and even on our platform here for you to download and move accordingly. It has domains and headings. When you look at, uh, when you look at patient temperature, when you look at a NANDA carefully, it will fall under the domain that talks about thermoregulation. Thermoregulation, that's our temperature. In that instance, you realize that the best NANDA statement for somebody having high body temperature will be hyperthermia. So in writing a nursing diagnosis, my NANDA is what? Hyperthermia. And I write the temperature again into bracket. So hyperthermia into bracket 39 degrees Celsius. Now, I am not done. It's not complete yet. Remember the formula, NANDA plus course. So I've only written the NANDA. It is left with the plus course. The plus sign over there, change it to related to. So the NANDA plus, the plus change it to what? Related to. So hyperthermia, 39 degrees Celsius, related to. The last part is the cause of a patient problem. Now, you must find out what is causing that high body temperature in the patient and you relate it to it. 
Let me give this example. A lecturer in class teaching and three students enter the class and they are late. He asks A person, why are you late? The A says that, oh, I was late because of heavy traffic on the road. He asks the second person, why are you late? He says, I am late because I didn't wake up early. Now you realize that the common problem is what lateness, but the cause of their lateness are different. One person later was caused by heavy traffic. The other person one was caused by not waking up early. So we have the same problem, but we have different causes. In the same way, we can have two patients having high body temperatures, but the cause of their body temperature will be different. My body temperature can be caused by infection. Another person's body temperature can be caused by what? A change in what? An environment. And so as a nurse, you must always, based on your assessment, find out the cause of the patient problem and then you add it to it to get a complete nursing diagnosis. For instance, if I'm infected with malaria and I have high body temperature, it could be because of what? Me being infected with what? The malaria parasite. And so I write my diagnosis as what? Hypertemia into bracket 39 degrees Celsius related to what? Infection with malaria parasite. That becomes a complete nursing diagnosis. Always remember, when I want to write a complete nursing diagnosis, the formula is what? Nanda plus cause. Where the Nanda is gotten from the Nanda document, how you rewrite the problem in the nursing language. The plus is related to the cause is always relative. And so you must find out what is causing the patient problem and then you add it to it to get your complete nursing diagnosis. Another example, for instance, is look at this scenario. A nurse assessing a patient and realize, oh, you don't look cheerful at all. What happened? The patient replies, I did not sleep well at night. The nurse asks, why didn't you sleep well at night? Oh, I have a severe headache. Look at this scenario. The patient problem was thought, patient could not sleep well at night. The next further on asked questions. Why didn't you sleep well at night? The patient responded because of headache. So now you know the cause of the patient not able to sleep. How then do you write a, a correct nursing diagnosis for us? Well, look at the NANDA document very well. Under the domain, we have something called rest and sleep. When you go to that domain, you will find out that there is something you call inadequate sleep pattern as how you write it in the NANDA form for a patient having sleeping difficulties. So inadequate sleep pattern, that is my NANDA. Now my plus now is what related to. Then what is the cause of the patient not able to sleep? The patient told me that because of headache. So inadequate sleep pattern related to what? Severe headache. That becomes a complete nursing diagnosis. And so always remember, with your nursing diagnosis, the formula is your NANDA plus a cause. That makes it complete. You assess the patient, you find out your problem, and if possible, find out what is the cause of that problem. So that when you are writing your nursing diagnosis, it will be very, very simple for you. This is a classical example that I want to see comments in the comment section. Or you could send us your answers via our WhatsApp platform or via 054-136-0991 for us to respond. This is a scenario. The same pattern. Patient complains of inadequate sleep or patient could not sleep well at night. The nurse asked the patient, why were you unable to sleep well at night? The patient responded, my neighbor was going up and down, opening the door, hitting it up and down. That is why I was not able to sleep well at night. I'm taking the scenario again. The nurse assesses the patient and realizes that the patient verbalized that I was not able to sleep well at night. The nurse then asked the patient, why were you not able to sleep well at night? The patient replied, I was not able to sleep well at night because my neighbor was opening the door up and down, disturbing my sleep. If you really understood this lecture very well, put in the comment section a correct nursing diagnosis for us, or you can equally send it to us on our WhatsApp platform channel so that we can respond to it accordingly, so I can have an interactive process. Viewers, 
This comes to the end of our nursing diagnosis lecture. Remember, nursing diagnosis is the Nanda plus the course. You are just rewriting the, the problem you found out in our nursing language. Just like the doctor rewrote those problems as malaria. And so it's not very confusing. Always have the Nanda plus the course to make up with your correct nursing diagnosis. See you on another episode where we talk about the next phase of the nursing process, which is planning. If today happens to be the first time you are following us, hit on the subscription button. The bell icon is there. So that anytime you release a new video, you'll be notified accordingly. Thank you. See you on another episode.